There are no penalties. Nothing is offside. And everything is fair game. This is The Gloves Are Off. Hello and welcome and thank you for joining us on the set of The Gloves Are Off. I'm already getting laughed at, but guess who's back? None other than the Bobcats head coach, Brian Curran. Brian, welcome back to the set. It feels like we just did this a few minutes ago. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I'm so glad to be back. Well, we're glad to have <laughs> you. And uh, the person that you will be dropping the gloves against today, Rob with 2Bs Fenton. Rob, how are you? Thank you for joining us. I'm doing well. Thanks for inviting me here on the show. Uh, looking forward to getting at her with the big guy over here. And okay, and for people who... Do you think you've been here too, Rob, before? Yeah, deja, deja vu deja something. Deja vu a little bit? Yes, okay, weird, inside yeah. joke. Uh, for people, I'm sure most of the people out there in the Border City have seen you before at sporting events, but tell everybody a little bit of your background here. Uh, originally from Ontario, moved out here about three years ago, uh, editor of the sports section for the Lloydminster Source newspaper, and uh, just looking for some winning teams in the city. Oh, all right. What are you trying right. to say over here? Well, the Vandals have a championship <laughs> game coming yeah, up, okay, hoping they win. That's what I was wondering about. <laughs> Ooh, things are getting interesting already. Not at all. Uh, well, Rob, <laughs> you and I are both from Ontario. Let's talk a little ONT news. Lloyd Native Clark. Yeah. By the way, where am I from? Okay, you were born there, but you didn't really grow up there. Well, I don't want to. Let's talk that about anymore. the Leafs then. <laughs> you you might know a little bit about the Leafs. Let's talk a little Leafs. Uh, we are into our dumb and change segment, and first up for dibs, let's talk a little bit of Leafs news. Lloyd Native Clark MacArthur signed a $1.1 million one year deal with the Leafs. I want to know what you guys think on this one. Who got the better end of the deal, the Leafs or Clark? Rob, all you. All right. I think it's a win-win. I mean, you can, if you have to take a side, mm -hmm. I think Clark got a real good deal. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I think he's exactly what the Leafs are looking for. You know, he's that third-line grinder type player. The um, grinder. Yeah, you know, the guy that's going to go into the corners, muck the puck out, uh, penalty kill things like that so I think it's and what Brian Burke's trying to do <coughs> there I think it's a perfect fit for him you know Colby Armstrong that that type of player. also from the Lloyd yeah exactly the double L's represented good connection there and you know I got I was really lucky to meet this young guy because a lot of times you don't know what the younger generation how he was as a person I sat and talked to him with 10 minutes with him and his dad classy young guy Toronto most kids wanted to grow up and play for the Leafs um, getting out of Atlanta it, Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Um, going to a place where you just mentioned, Brian Burke, if he's going to do anything, it's going to be his way. Very smart man. Wants, like you said, a tougher team in there. That gives him that third line guy. Yeah. He's going to tick people off. He's going to put the puck in the net. Good shutdown guy. Great move for him. I hope he pulls it off this year and gets himself a multi-year contract. Okay. Well, we got to stick in the NHL. Uh, I don't know about you guys. I'm tired of even talking about it. But Ilya Kovachuk, there was a new deal submitted. Numbers a little bit less, kind of a little bit ironic. You got the 666 in there for the cap hit. <laughs> uh, will this one fly and will this be the end of the saga? Well, how much money is under the table? Whoops. Ooh. I got to wonder a little bit. I just thought about that earlier on. I, I've got to wonder, that's a, that's a drop. So you think there's maybe an endorsement deal or something else that we're something. not hearing about? Lou's going to pull it off. I really like him. I, yeah. I mean, I've, I've known him. I've met him. He's a very smart man. I said this before. Uh, I'm a big fan of his. He'll pull this deal off. But something's a little fishy. Really? As my parents would say, something's rotten in the state of Denmark. Do you think that's the case or something else going on? I wouldn't be surprised, yeah. but to be completely honest, I've talked, it with, uh, talked about it with buddies. I'm just sick of hearing yeah. this, this contract. I mean, either sign it, go back to Russia, ask for, you know, or go to a different team. Yeah. I, you know, to be completely honest at this point, I don't care where he goes. Send and them he all home. For. Send them all home. <laughs> there, Kobe, you got the buzzer, so we're going to move on. Uh, let's Kobe. talk jail yeah. time here. Edmonton Oilers net monitor Nikolai Habi Bowen. This guy is in some hot water. He could be a minimum of 30 days behind bars for drinking and driving charges. Minimum. Minimum. I'm 30. not saying minimum <laughs> 30 days he could face as much as up to six months. Training camp is less than three weeks away. Are the oil going to have this guy back and do you think this is going to affect his game? I think it's going to affect his game. Okay. I I don't know if he's going to be back. Um, you know, I wouldn't be surprised either way, but I don't think he's going to be the same goalie. Uh, you know, he was a couple <coughs> seasons ago. I think regardless of, like I said, whether, whether he goes back to Edmonton, whether he goes somewhere else, I think he's going to be a different goalie 
and but for a who's going to want him, I guess, after. You know, okay, but for a franchise that's trying to turn around, this is a 37-year-old, twice, almost double the legal limit in his Ferrari. Is this the kind of guy that you want? talking about his age. <laughs> well, you know what? Number one, disagree on one point. He's 37, messed up big time. Yeah. He's got to reestablish himself. He's 37 years old. He is a good goaltender. He is okay. a goaltender I would put in the net. The question to me is, does the Oilers want all the, the bad press? Yeah. And does the press want to just eat this thing up and kill this this guy? And he won't be able to hide in Edmonton. And it's, no way. It's not no. like playing, you know, in but Atlanta. But he, or no he might knows. do a lot of little things that might help him. Maybe he joins into some groups and he helps himself out. But he is a goaltender that I think Edmonton should keep. He's going to not be the future, but he's going to get him through this couple of years of rebuilding. Okay. And that's what they need. Okay. I think it, <laughs> beat it again. <laughs> Uh, we got to move on. we got to talk about CFL football here. Edmonton Eskimos. Richie Hall had a huge smile on his face after the game. 17 unanswered points against the Riders. Noel Prefontaine looked pretty good. He got a 52-yarder, kicked the winning field goal. That one, I think, was only about 45. But still, are the Esks on a turnaround? Is this sort of the you, climate? You can yell about this one first. No. No. They're not. They're not on. They might win a couple more games. And for Richie Hall, I'm happy for him. Okay. You know what? I really am because we have. I was on a spell last year where we lost ten in a row. So I know how he felt, and he's trying so hard to win them. But no, I think it's just too hard. That'll motivate him to win a couple more games. It's not their year. Um, I'm a Saskatchewan fan. Very disappointed in them, by the way. But that might help them. Durango picked off three times. 211 yards. That's it. Unfortunately, I agree with him. Uh, you know, unfortunately. It's, look, we're. Agreeing on the set. Well, uh, I thought this whole was, was to get uh, angry at each other. Oh. We're agreeing. Oh, don't <laughs> worry. I think the, uh, the Eskimos, are, they're going to benefit from this, you know, a, mm -hmm. a, a win or two. But at the end of the day, it's, it's not going to mean a whole lot. Uh-oh. Too soon. He's got the knuckles on the horseshoe. I'm getting a little nervous. Well, just if you tick me off, we know what if happens. If I do. Oh, <laughs> I'm testing my waters. Okay, let's talk about something then that you like talking about. Tiger, Tiger Woods, y'all. Single med. Y'all. Like that one, eh? <laughs> Go down south, y'all. <laughs> Fix and come back soon. Tiger Woods, uh, newly single man at the Barclays. He started <laughs> off strong. And he's got 12 to pick from. What do you mean 12 to pick from? Yeah, he didn't. 12 women. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's not talk those kind of numbers. Sorry. Let's talk about Ryder Cup picks. Corey Pavin, uh, we, we know who's qualified already based on play. Uh, September 2nd, will Tiger be a pick? No. 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 And I'm, I, you know what? I, I, and it's not, I don't know if we're going to agree on the same reasons, but I just think that he is mentally my favorite golfer. No question. Even if I throw a shot at him, he's my favorite golfer, probably Aww. one of my favorite athletes. He screwed up royally. Get out of the game, Tiger. Yeah. Relax for a year. Get yourself back on page. He looks bigger. Have you ever noticed him? Like he's like even got bigger upstairs. Like maybe like he's been hanging out with Roger Clemens lately. Uh, oh <laughs> wow! Like going show. after the Raj. I, th I think it's just yeah. I think at this point uh, you have to pick the guys that are playing well. I mean, like you said, you know, you pick the guy. Yeah. The guys are on the team that deserve to be there. Mm -hmm. and now the captain's picks are are what. Is what left. Tiger did say an interesting point. You have he ten said seconds. By he, the way. he said if he didn't deserve okay. it, he would not go there. Himself. Okay. Well, Corey Pavin, you're going to have to answer to Brian Curran because he seems to be pretty... The, the foot is him. down on this one. Exactly. All right, well, we have to take a break, but stay tuned because we'll, we, we will be back with more headlines in Dump and Change. Stay tuned. That's your first name.